vehicle transportation had changed little from ancient times. The invention of the internal combustion engine revolutionized wheeled transportation, taking it from animal-drawn wagons to gasoline and later diesel-powered trucks. This revolution increased both the speed and cargo capacity of wheeled vehicles. The rapid pace of technological evolution that arose during the 20th century required a marriage between the army and manufacturer in a wheeled vehicle that could best meet the customer's needs. During the Mexican Punitive Expedition in 1916, the U.S. Army purchased 13 different types of off-the-shelf trucks from eight different manufacturers to replace the horse-drawn wagon in order to haul supplies more rapidly to the front. The expedition encountered a number of problems with the off-the-shelf products. Without standardization of truck design, the Army needed drivers trained for each type of truck and the repair parts were not interchangeable. Consequently, the U.S. Army organized a design committee from quartermaster officers, Society of Automotive Engineers members, and volunteers from the truck manufacturing companies to design a standard Army truck. The end result was an Army design of a truck in 1917 that could be constructed by any company. It was called the Standard B three-ton truck, better known as the Liberty truck. This marked the origin of the Army defining its requirement for wheeled vehicles and the manufacturers building the trucks. In 1941, the U.S. Army had improved upon the previous design with the 6x6, 2.5 ton CCKW, better known as the Deuce and a Half. It was a very simple design that was easy to produce and had great versatility. So many of these 2.5 ton trucks were produced that they were used in every theater of operations during World War II and even given to our allies as part of the Lend-Lease program. In the absence of a functioning rail system in northern France, the Deuce and a Half had to make up the difference. This dedicated line haul mission became known as the Red Ball Express. The Deuce and a Half led to the evolution of the M34 2.5 ton truck and the M54 5 ton cargo truck, while the 10 ton tractor and trailer of World War II evolved into the M52 tractor and the 12 ton M127 trailer. This evolution followed the path of product improvement and modernization of current design. The deployment and sustainment of combat divisions in Europe during the Cold War created the need for a peacetime line haul that exceeded the capability of the new wheeled vehicle fleet. This new fleet of trucks would need to maximize efficiency in hard surface line haul operations, vice cross-country off-road combat operations. In 1965, the U.S. Army made a doctrinal split from designing tactical vehicles to the purchase of commercial off-the-shelf products line haul trucks. The International Harvester 205 was a pure line haul truck capable of driving high speeds over long distances in Europe. This led to the purchase of the IH-2000D and M4070A during the 1970s and the M915 series first purchased in 1979 by AM General. The U.S. Army continued to improve upon the design of the 2.5 ton and 5 ton cargo trucks with the M800 series, M923, LMTV and MTVs. The next revolution in tactical wheeled vehicle design came about as the result of Operation Desert Storm in 1990 and 1991. To reduce the logistical footprint and deliver cargo all the way to the user, the Army wanted an on-load and off-load capability, which led to the design of the palletized loading system in 1993. It was not until battle losses in Somalia that the Army refocused on the need for armor and communications to be an integral part of each truck. The U.S. Army had experienced convoy ambushes during the Vietnam War and responded with improvised armor and gun trucks. But the secure supply lines of Desert Storm caused the Army to become complacent about the need for vehicle protection. This need was again realized during Operation Iraqi Freedom. Consequently, the Army and industry worked together to design add-on armor for trucks. As of 2006, every tactical and line haul truck on the road in Iraq has factory built armor and internal communications. The future holds even greater technological advancements in wheeled vehicle technology that will revolutionize the way wheeled vehicles support the soldier on the battlefield and the structure of the Army as an organization. Technology is moving towards smart vehicles with artificial intelligence that drive themselves and may ultimately include greater innovations in suspension, power, payload, armor protection, IED detection, navigation, communication, vision enhancement, stability, availability, and safety. As we keep moving forward in new technology, the Transportation Corps model still holds true. Nothing happens until something moves. <laughs>